the final game of 2015 for Aston Villa. Some fantastic victories against Norwich in recent memory here at Carrow Road. How they could do one this time around. Who better to be joined by pitch side than a legend of both clubs? John Dean. great to see you, John. Uh, a big game for both teams. Oh, massive game for both teams. Um, and m my real great hope is that uh, the love of my life, Aston Villa, can survive in the Premiership this year. And obviously I would like Norwich City to do so as well. They've both been a big part of my life and uh, I wish both clubs the, the very best. A lot of people seem to have written Villa off, given their position in the table. Can the squad, can the manager use that almost in, in their favour? The fact that they can really um, have a, have a back-to-the-wall attitude and, and just go for it now? Um, I think they can, but I'm, I've been so impressed with the new manager in, in the way that he's set up his team and he's prepared his team. Yeah. He's put a lot of work in on the training ground to try and get the results that they require. And obviously in the early exchanges in the games, I went to the Manchester City game and it was probably more a case of how Manchester City didn't score. But Villa defended well for long, long periods in that game and um, he managed to get some extra reserves out of them, Remy did, mm. when they were tiring in the last 10 or 15 minutes and we managed to keep a clean sheet. So there's a big positive in that which com which comes from that and I think, I think we've probably had three draws in a row recently now mm. and it's slowly turning. Um, as a Villa fan, I'd like it to turn today against <laughs> yeah. Norwich City, but uh, obviously on the same sort of situation, I don't want to see them drawn into a, a relegation scrap either. But that's the way the uh, that's the way that the leagues are set up, and it's such a an entertaining yeah. Premiership that we're having this mm -hmm. year. There's such a fine line, isn't there? As you know, over the years in football turning those draws into wins yeah. and that's what they have to do well, the, I think the interesting thing is that teams that have um, reasonably been expected to be down at the bottom of the league and uh, the teams that you expect to be at the top this year it seems to be a bit topsy-turvy you know you look at Leicester City what they can do and um, they've, they've done brilliant and uh, leading the Premiership going into the new year and uh, there's no reason why um, possibly Villa could think about that in another couple of seasons mm. if they can get a sort of settled way of working on a weekly basis. Yeah, it's going to be tough, isn't it? And it, and it has been difficult, but can you give the fans a little bit of reason to be cheerful <laughs> going into 2016? Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm positive with what I've seen in what Remy Guard's doing at the football okay. club. I'm... You know, I feel very comfortable in, in him being the manager to make the right decision for the club mm. and hopefully get us the right results. Um, they'll have a plan in place, I would have thought. You know, two or three games down the line, we're, we're not there yet. But if we could win two of them next three games, that would put us back in contention of trying to get out of the trouble we're in. Um, look, if it goes the other way, then it's a different sort of plan that you've got to work to. OK, John, well, a belated Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Thanks, Thanks for joining us here at Carrow Road, Aston Villa and Norwich City.